What's going on guys? So in this video I'm going to give you guys an update on the RW15s. As you guys know in my previous video I mentioned that one of my WP40s had died out on me. So I've decided to just go ahead and upgrade to the RW15s. Uh, they've been running in the tank now for approximately about two and a half months. Uh, overall I'm really happy with the pumps. Plenty of uh, water flow inside the tank for all the coral. Now the really nice thing about it was that I was just able to go ahead and pretty much plug and play. I have them hooked up to my twin controller. So as you guys can see here I was able to avoid the hassle of having to connect all these extra wires and controllers. Um, I already have all my wire management done nice and neat. Um, so it saved me a lot of time in having to rearrange all these wires. On top of that I was going to have to get an extra outlet to connect an extra power supply because with the RW15s you get a power supply for each controller so it was really nice to just uh, been able to just hook them up directly to my twin controller um, I did run the RW15s through all the commands of the twin controller and it corresponded without any issues so really happy with that I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a uh, show you guys a couple of the functionalities of the twin controller with the RW15s. All right, so here's the uh, twin controller. As you guys can see, the RW15s plugged right in. Up here, we have all our modes. With this button here, we can switch through the different modes on the controller. This button here, if we click it once, it's gonna turn the uh, power heads off for 10 minutes for feeding. They will automatically turn back on after 10 minutes uh, to the settings you had them on if you forget to turn them back on. The blue knob is to adjust how fast or how slow you want your waves. The gray knob is to adjust the timing you want each power head working with each other. P1 is to adjust the power or intensity of power head number one. P2 is to adjust the uh, power or intensity of pow power head number two. Now if you go ahead and hold this button down, you're also going to be able to enable the uh, light sensor. And that light sensor, what it does is at nighttime when your lights go off, it will automatically turn your power heads down to the uh, lowest power setting. Now you can also hold this button down to lock your controller so your settings won't move. So let's go ahead and run the RW15s through the, through the modes here. We turn them back on. W1 would be the first mode. This is actually one of my favorite modes. Here's where you're going to create your waves. In W1, what you want to do is adjust how slow or how fast you want your waves and the intensity you want them working on. So in this uh, mode, you're going to see how the propellers are going to be turning, are going to be pulsating on and off. So with this, if we go ahead and adjust it here to the uh, fastest setting, you're going to see how the propeller is going to be pulsating on and off really quick to create that shorter wave. If we adjust it to the slower end, you're going to see how the propeller is going to remain on a lot longer before it turns off to create that longer wave. So that's W1. W2, in this mode, this is a combination of wave and stream. So in this mode, you're going to see how wave maker number one is going to be in wave mode. So it's going to be turning on and off to create that wave. And power head number two is going to be in stream mode. So in this mode, what you want to do is for the power head number one that's going to be in wave mode, for that one, you want to adjust how slow or fast you want your wave and the intensity, the power you want the power head working at. And for the one that's gonna be in stream mode for that one, all you're gonna be able to do is adjust the, the power on that one. So if we take a look here on power head number one, you're gonna see how this one's in wave. The propeller turning on and off to create that wave. And power head number two is gonna be in stream mode. So it's going to be constantly on. 
So that's W2. Now the next setting, the next mode, which is a W3. That is a pre-setting. Uh, that's already an, an automatic setting. You're not going to be able to adjust anything with your controller here. In this, set, in this setting, your power heads are going to be ramping up and down from 30% all the way up to 100% and right back down to 30%. So it's an automatic setting. Uh, you don't need to adjust anything here for that setting. The next mode, which is uh, else mode. Else mode is uh, also a pre-setting to standard setting that's going to take it through a random flow. And that setting is pretty much going to take your power heads through all the settings and through all your modes and through all your power settings as well. So that mode is actually a nice mode to turn on for a couple of minutes to stir up the tank really nice before a water change or it's also really good for uh, for bigger tanks. So else mode, with that mode you can create a nice storm inside your tank. You can see uh, sand start kicking up. So that's else mode. The next mode which is H mode. In H mode, this in this mode, both your power heads are actually going to be on at the same time in stream mode. So they're constantly going to be on at the same time. And in this mode, all you're going to be able to do is just adjust the power on each power head. If we take a look, both are constantly on in stream mode. Now in H mode, this is the mode your power heads is going to automatically switch to when you have your light sensor on. So at night time when the lights go off, the power heads are going to switch over to this mode and the power intensity is going to drop all the way to the lowest power setting. The next mode in C, this is another one of my favorite modes here. This is where each power head is going to be working with one another. So while one power head is ramping down to turn off, the other one will turn off. And while that one turns on, then the other one will turn on and vice versa. So for this setting, all you want to do is adjust the timing. You want each power head working with each other and adjust the uh, power for each one. So if we take a look, you see how power head number one here is currently on. Well, power head number two here is currently off. And vice versa. There you go. You see how that one just kicked in. And then this one is currently off. So that's it, guys. That's all for the uh, twin controller. Really happy with it. Also really happy that I was able to just plug in the RW15s. And it's working perfectly for anybody that wants to do the same thing and already has the uh, twin controller. It avoided a lot of the hassle to be able to have to do all the uh, rewiring again. So stay tuned. I'm going to be doing an um, update on the tank shortly. As always, uh, thank you guys for watching.